I want to make another quick video. I am in John chapter 7, uh, verses 36 through, let's see, 39, because I have to describe a few things. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and read. And remember, this is Jesus talking to, I believe, the Pharisees, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's the Pharisees he's talking at the Feast of Tabernacles in chapter 7 of John. So what manner of saying is this that he said, Ye shall seek me and shall not find me, and where I am thither ye cannot come. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, if any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive, for the Holy Ghost was not given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Um, I wanted to go ahead and read that, because, you know... God and Jesus Christ kind of put me into the world real quick, and he wanted to wanted me to read um, real quick, I guess, because then he put uh, what I was watching earlier back into perspective. So he does want me to finish John tonight, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and finish it tonight. But I do want to go ahead and explain one key factor. Each and every person that's been baptized um, in Jesus Christ's name in the, and been given the Holy Spirit. Some people have gotten it at birth when they were baptized at birth. Now, keep in mind, the enemy knows this. You have more power than you can imagine, more authority than you can imagine, but it is entirely dependent on our praise and worship of God and Jesus Christ, not just through our very lips and our minds and our hearts, but also through our very walks in life and how we walk. We have to walk in His ways to hold that kind of authority. You know, a lot of people want the powers of God and Jesus Christ. They want it so bad. They want the authority of Elijah powers of Elijah you can't have that only a humble heart can have that only one that God and Jesus Christ approve of can have that only one who has at the very least faith of a mustard seed and many people do not have that kind of faith it takes a lot to have that kind of faith you have to rid yourself of doubt and various things it's not that the power of God and Jesus Christ in the Holy Spirit has been taken away from the world because it has left the world from my understanding recently but for those who worship him truly from the heart and from the mind there is not a thing that can touch them period and the more we practice to live in righteousness the less sin we entertain the holier we become and the more likely that things like that do happen that's why our prayers are so powerful now, I would take this to God and Jesus Christ personally, that they may show you and prove the words that they have given me here on this video. With that said, God bless you guys.